Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. If you're new, my name's Lauren. Had an exciting morning this morning. And if you can hear it in my voice too, by the way, I'm kind of sick. Got sick during the week. I also filmed a work week in my life before this. I think I've been too go, go, go. And I think it all caught up to me. So I got sick and I'm trying to recover, but I'm just a little bit congested and feeling a little bit under the weather today. But had an exciting morning. Christian and I toured a potential wedding venue this morning and I didn't vlog anything. You also couldn't really vlog on the property, but you can see us getting married there and it's definitely a top choice. And I didn't want to share any pictures that I did take or I did take one video, but I want it to be a surprise for everyone and yeah so i'm keeping it a secret but we did tour our wedding venue this morning and it is just a dream we could have a wedding venue and a date by the end of this month which is crazy but i really think that this is gonna be our wedding venue so that's so exciting but that's where i was this morning so i wasn't really vlogging at all but I wanted to start off this vlog with a Princess Polly haul and thank them so much for working with me on today's video. I love working with Princess Polly. I wear their clothes constantly. I'm always wearing Princess Polly. And I love their clothing options and their price and the quality. Literally can't be beat. So I have some really great fall pieces to help transition you into the fall season. And you can even wear some of these pieces into winter. So before I share some of the pieces, I did want to mention that Princess Polly offers free US shipping on orders $50 or more. And they also offer shop pay and after pay. I also do have a coupon code to share with you and that will be provided at the end. So stay tuned for that to get a little discount. But let's start the haul. Did want to mention that there will be try on clips throughout the duration of the haul so you could see all the pieces on me and how they fit. So this is the first piece. Got this long coat, which I'm so excited for. We don't get a lot of very cold weather here in Orlando, but we do get a few days. So this will be perfect for those days. It's light enough weight to wear with just a thin top underneath, or it has enough room to be able to bundle it up more and wear heavier sweaters underneath for those really cold days or cold climates. I also am short, hits at a great length still, still long, but great length and great size. This is the first piece, has pockets and has a button across the front. Next is a little black skirt, has a cute little button across the front, but this would be perfect for the fall season, transitioning into the more cold weather. You could wear this with a heavier chunky sweater tucked up with some booties or boots. And you can also wear this when it's warmer outside. So it's definitely a great multi-purpose skirt, something perfect to have honestly year round in your closet. So I decided to pick this up, probably would style it with a chunky sweater and some booties for fall as it gets a little bit colder here. Next piece I have been eyeing for months and I wanted to get it once it started to get cold again outside. It's this little sweater. It buttons up the front, but it has pearl buttons so cute it's a little bit longer so you could kind of wear it multiple different ways the sleeves are a little bit flare at the end which i love you could wear it with half of the buttons unbuttoned a little open with some shorts or jeans you could wear it with some leather leggings dress it up dress it down truly you can wear this so many different ways i thought it would be so cute for fall okay next piece i feel like it's something that everyone needs in their closet a denim jacket throwover style shirt this i got in a size two kind of wanted a little bit more fitted but it is still longer on me so you could wear this with shorts you could wear this with pants you could wear it with leather leggings truly options are endless with this i feel like this can be worn so many different ways fall and winter you can get it more oversized so you can layer underneath it like i mentioned options are truly endless i think this is something perfect to have in your closet such a staple piece and i feel like it is kind of timeless in a sense that it never really goes out of style jean jackets are always in 
so very excited about this one i just about screamed when i saw this on their website because it is the most perfect luxe feeling sweater perfect for fall and winter i would pair this with that black skirt that i showed earlier you could also wear it with leggings jeans this is the perfect sweater for fall the quality is insane so soft i cannot wait to wear this all season long truly the most perfect sweater so i'm all about my comfies my basics i wanted to pick up something that was comfy for kind of on those lounge days more casual days but this top could honestly also be worn with jeans or shorts just this little yellow basic tee kind of has a cool detail how it gets longer and then shorter on the sides thought this would be perfect for more casual days i could wear this with some white sweatpants casual running errands doing whatever but also could throw on a pair of jeans and some boots maybe layer some type of jacket over top to make it warmer for those colder days but so cute and it's like a knit material probably would wear a bralette underneath it because it is a little bit see-through but so so cute for fall and winter and you can honestly since it is yellow wear this into spring and it's lightweight enough for all the changing seasons so pick this up so the next piece is very versatile i thought i could wear it to so many different places and so many different types of occasions it's the perfect black blouse button up the front really nice material kind of almost like a shiny ish looking material has cute tie detail on the sleeves right here it's a perfect top that i'd wear honestly to work with some trouser pants or a skirt you can wear this out to dinner with your girlfriends with some booties truly such a versatile black top and it's so cute with the added sleeve detail with the tie kind of elevates it a little bit more and adds a different flair to it so perfect for fall you can wear it so many different ways to so many different places and different occasions lastly i had to add this because i saw it and was like oh my goodness i need this for the fall wedding that i'm going to at the end of this month thought it was truly perfect and you could never have too many black dresses in your wardrobe i feel like they are perfect for every occasion and this one is so nice because the material is a little bit dressier of a material but you can also dress it down as well so i thought this was the perfect simple black dress for a fall wedding or a nice dinner even a holiday party at the office you could totally throw on a sweater to cover your shoulders a little bit more so this has a tie on the front which also adjusts the straps and the front part of the dress zips up the side and it is floor length but it was so stunning on and perfect for the fall season dress it up dress it down truly could be worn so many different ways and it's always great to have a black dress in your closet so that concludes the princess poly haul i do have a discount code to share with you guys and we'll get you 20 percent off your order so use the code lauren 20 i'll put it right here on the screen gets you 20 percent off your new fall wardrobe definitely check it out let me know in the comments down below what pieces you're picking up from princess polly thank you again princess polly for working with me on today's video i always enjoy working with you guys and i'm so excited to wear and style these pieces all fall long and yeah i'm gonna get on with the rest of my day wanted to share this because it just came in today we got our engagement photos back like a week and a half to two weeks ago and we had the option to make it into a book or not all of them but at least some of our favorites so we made this book titled it rosemary beach engagement 2023 and then i won't show you all of it but you get to design how i wanted the photos to be and there's this and then these photos and then there's these big spots because um Throughout the rest of the book, it was either like a big photo that took up the whole page or it was smaller. So we're thinking maybe these pages could be filled out at our wedding or something like that because it just has all this blank space throughout. So I thought this would be a good idea to potentially bring it to our wedding maybe to get it signed by everyone or maybe if we do an engagement party, something like that where everyone could sign these big blank pages to fill them with words. Yeah, we got this 
little coffee table book, which will be nice to have and look back on. Okay, good morning. It's the next morning. I sound so congested and sick. I'm about to do some laundry and I wanted to share. Christian went on a work trip to Seattle this past week and he knows that I love sweatshirts and things like that that have places on them. So he went to Woodenville, Seattle and they actually have the first Starbucks store there and he got me a sweatshirt and then he went to the first Starbucks and got me this little to-go coffee or tea cup which I am so excited about. You can see that it says the first store and where it is and it's so funny how the logo has kind of evolved over the years so i can't wait to bring this to work i always drink tea throughout the day or honestly i drink warm water which is kind of strange and i'm embarrassed to admit that i do but it helps keep me warm but also hydrated so i drink a lot of warm water to stay hydrated but also like stay warm in the office so i always like bringing something like this to work for things like that so i'm excited about that and if you saw my work week of my life and my weekend vlog from last weekend so two vlogs ago and my last vlog i shared the jenny kane dupe sweater that i found on amazon and i said that it was 300 dollars, but my bad this style sweater from jenny kane is 500 dollars people say in the reviews on amazon that this is a jenny kane dupe really good quality i have it in three colors now i'm so excited about the red for fall and winter so i wanted to share i get them in a size medium i find that they do kind of shrink a little bit in the washer and dryer you could try not drying it but love these sweaters really good heavy duty material they are a little bit thicker material which is nice but really good quality for amazon and i think it's around 39 to 40 dollars so wanted to share this stuff this morning with you guys before i throw it all in the washer I do not feel well. I didn't take my medicine. Yeah, I took it this morning, but I didn't take the next set of medicine that I should have taken like a couple hours ago. So I need to take some medicine. I just went to go run some errands. I had to put gas in my car before the week. I drove around so much this past week and last weekend that I never have to fill up my gas tank. I fill it up like once a month or like every three to four weeks because I don't really drive far. I drove a lot last weekend and um this past week and this weekend driving to the wedding venue but i went to ulta and i went to target because ulta's body lotion is priced so high for some reason but some of their beauty products are priced better there than they are at target like dry shampoo is cheaper i want to say at ulta right but I went in, I had to get more of my cleansing oil that I use. I use the DHC cleansing oil. I recently switched to this a couple months ago from the Anculus Oat Cleansing Balm. And I wanted to switch to more of an oil to help with more hydration for the fall and winter months since it's going to be drier outside and colder. So I've been using this and really like it. And got more of my, there's such like a harsh glare but i use the la roche posay hydrating cleanser for cleansing and then this is what i've been talking about for a while i ordered it originally off of amazon but it got lost in the mail i guess and they refunded me for it 
and I found it at Ulta. It's the Miel Rosemary Mint Scalp Hair Oil. It's like all over social media. So I want to try it. It's $10. It's relatively affordable and you can use it every day. And it also helps with split ends. So Rosemary Mint Scalp and Hair Strengthening Oil. So I got that there. And then I went to Target and got body lotion. Body lotion has like not been working for me. So I went back to the tried and true one that I used on Accutane, which is Lubriderm, the advanced therapy one for extra dry skin. It intensely hydrates. This is what saved me on Accutane when my skin was literally so dry. So I went back to this because nothing else has worked. Like even the hemp's lotion, that's like so expensive. It's like $27 or like 20 to 27 dollars depending on which one you get that does not work it's almost like my skin like absorbs it so quickly that it's instantly dry within like 10 minutes it's so crazy so that's what i got from ulta and target i'm gonna go inside and take my makeup off and get comfy um we went to my dad's today to celebrate his 81st birthday. He turns 81 tomorrow. So we were there all day and um, we kind of like ate around three o'clock and it's six o'clock now. So we kind of ate at like a weird time. So I don't know if we're gonna go back out and get dinner or something because I feel like I'm gonna be hungry in a little bit. Yeah, I just wanna shower and get comfy and ready for bed. I just like don't really feel well. I'm gonna try and edit a video so I can post it um on tuesday i think i'm gonna try and post it but anyways that's on the agenda for the rest of the day i just want to like get in the shower do my skincare and like get ready for bed pretty early so that way i can like knock this sickness out this week so i'm not still sick or it's not like still lingering by next weekend anyways that's a little update i feel like i look pretty sick in my eyes I don't know, I'm like swollen all right here, I'm like on my face. I like dunked my face in an ice bucket this morning because I woke up so puffy and swollen. I'm going to go inside and um, probably shower and get ready for bed. Okay, I just was editing for, I honestly should have gotten in the shower, but I decided to open up my computer and edit for a little bit. And then Christian and I just made some breakfast for dinner, decided to just stay home and eat some of the groceries that we got today for dinner. By the way, I haven't mentioned this. I'm actually trying gluten-free right now. Um, just see how I feel. Um, I do need to eventually go see an allergist or just get my blood taken to see if I have any allergies or anything or any food sensitivities. I cannot for the life of me bring myself to do an at-home test and prick my finger like I would rather do anything but that. So I just want to do like a trial and error and see how I feel after like giving up gluten. I tried the dairy-free for a little while and it was great. I just feel like I was making healthier decisions, but I really wanna try and see how no gluten affects me. I actually gave up gluten Monday of last week and I didn't even talk about it in my work week of my life, but I just like one day decided like, I'm just not gonna eat gluten for a little bit, like 30 days and see what happens. So we're trying that out and um, we'll just see. But by the end of the year, I need to go just get my blood drawn and just see if there's any food sensitivities to certain foods. So that way I don't necessarily have to do trial and error, but I definitely want to pinpoint certain foods that don't make me feel good. I am allergic to shellfish, which I already know that that affects me. So, but I want to see if there's anything else on like a day to day that I eat regularly that affects my stomach and like how I feel. And I do want to get my vitamins checked and everything like that. So, but I wanted to go ahead and end off this video. I'm going to get in the shower, get ready for bed, do my skincare, relax, take some medicine, try and not wake up congested and feeling sick tomorrow. I hope you guys enjoyed this weekend of my life. Next weekend, I have no plans as of now. Maybe try and tour another wedding venue, but I don't know. 
I need to lay low and then the following weekend we have a wedding that we're going to so I'm trying not to make as many plans this coming weekend to kind of chill. I'm gonna go ahead and end off this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're subscribed, give this video a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.